Hi guys, welcome to my craft table. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a photo block and with just a simple piece of wood, some paint, and a couple of embellishments. And to start off with, all you're going to need is a piece of wood. I've got a 2 by I think it was 2 by 8 at one time but it's been broken as you can see it's split and um, this one is not sanded it is very rough to the touch very dirty it was outside but I picked it because it is the the two inch and it sits and it's rectangle square um, it doesn't have to be perfectly square it doesn't have to be perfect anything. It can have the splits in it if you're... this is going to be very rustic. Um, farmhouse, country, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to be modern, not going to be sleek and smooth and bedazzled. It's definitely, for me, rustic. And all you need is the piece of wood that you want to make your picture of. Or put your picture on photo and I advise you to get um, at least something that will would hold a 5x7 that's usually what the photos um, best looking type photos would sit in there um, you're going to need of course uh, sandpaper to smooth this down um, or a sander I We'll use a sander, but sandpaper, um, probably an 80 grit would be your best. Um, I put a base coat of black um, for mine. I use the Waverly uh, ink color. It's black, the chalk paint. Um, and then, of course, your top coat, whatever color you want. Uh, the top to be. I'm going to use a gray. Well, it's a very light gray. It's I got this is it's the sample that you can get for uh, wall paint, and uh, I think from Lowe's. And you can all they change the color every month type thing. And this is the Velspar, and this is just gray. Uh, yeah. So there's that for the top coat. Of course you're going to need your your paintbrush and your water and um, your glasses or whatever to raise it up off of your table. Um, I also, if you've got a candle or anything waxy that you don't need I I don't know if you know what these are they're the scents the wax scents that you can put in the little heating thing and they melt and they room freshener type thing and they're made of wax very soft wax I'm going to be using one of those I'll show, show you a little tip uh, and our trick whatever you want to call it of how to distress very easily so a piece of wax okay and then of course you're going to need your twine um, or burlap ribbon if you want to use burlap ribbon uh, your twine uh, no matter what size you want that's for your embellishments so let's get this started and I'll show you how it ends up um, the first thing you want to do of course is you want to sand this down smooth so it's no longer harmful to your fingers to touch so you're gonna want to smooth out the top the bottom the back and all the sides and round off your edges a little bit so there's no slivers and stuff to work with so I'm going to this is half of a piece of board that I brought in the other half I have already sanded and I have painted black 
and I have used my wax on. And what I've done is I've taken, taken this and I went around the edges like this over the black paint after it was all dry and I put wax and I put it on all the edges actually like this. And yeah, that's my dog in the background. He's very protective. And basically you just go over the edges. Doesn't have to be a lot. So. And I'm gonna go put this up and I'm going to paint. my top coat which would be the gray and um, if anybody knows anything about chihuahuas they love to bark they will bark at the wind and that's basically what he's doing so I am going to paint and I will be painting front back and all the edges so I'm going to start the painting and we'll be back as soon as I'm done. Alright, now I have my top coat on and I am going to distress it. And because I use this little piece of wax, the distressing is going to be so easy. I am going to basically lightly run my piece of sandpaper over the edges and look how easy that's coming off the wax protected and you there's hardly any pressure whatsoever and I'm just going to go around the corners and the edges just scruff it up a little bit give it kind of a border See how easy that was? And you do this until you like it. And you don't even have to do it. You can make it a solid color. You can um, paint it any color you want. Use any kind of a backdrop or um, top coat, whatever. There is no right or wrong way. This is definitely your project. Um, just one little piece of wood. And now the hard part, I guess, would be do you want it this way? Do you want it this way? Do you want the cross cut? Just a regular wood grain. Uh, it's totally up to you. Alright, so now comes the fun part. We get to decorate. And it, it is also where you start using your own imagination. Um, on most you will see where they took um, twine or uh, jute and they wrapped it like this and um, this is my normal size that I usually use but there are several other sizes like uh, this is thicker and this is what this would look like
you know, just a little bit thicker. And then, of course, I've got the really the big, like rope type looking. Um, you don't, you don't even have to put this on. You can take. Um, let's see, what did I do with it? Oh, you can take these little clothespins and put a piece of glue and put that down and you can slide your picture in there. Uh, let me give you, um, let me, let me show you certain uh, ones I've already made give you an idea of what you can do and this is a nice simple one it's basically the jute wrapped around um, a little flower that I made out of burlap and uh, strings buttons these leaves are um, uh, scrapbook paper that I cut out and just tied them together these are not even glued down, so I can change my mind at any time. And yeah, let me find a picture, give you an idea. This is a picture cut out of a calendar from last year. There you go. How cute is that, right? Um, they, uh, you can also make um, this one here. This is the the thick um, rope type twine, just three pieces, and a burlap bow that I made. And I soaked this in Mod Podge so it's nice and hard. And on this one, I took a dowel, a very small dowel, and cut it and glued it here so I could put the picture like that. Because I plan on hanging this, I planned on hanging this one on the wall. You can see where I uh, put. And for this one, I wrapped it glued it and then I put a couple staples to hold it together. So that's one way to do it. There's no, like I said, there's really no wrong way. You can build these any way you want. Um, if you plan on uh, hanging them on the wall, just make sure to, you know, have your um, hanger there. You can set them, they sit very well. Um, if, if yours for some reason doesn't sit right, or if it's a thinner piece of wood and it's not that sturdy, um, I found this in my garage. It's, a, it's been cut off of a corner. And you can paint this up and glue it to the back. And it will hold it sturdier for you like that. Um, this is another odd piece. Just like you would uh, a photo frame. We'll hold that up. Just a little bit of glue, stick it on. So, but you can use, like I said, you can use this. You could use uh, burlap ribbon to make a big bow. Um, I have, I'm always making out of scraps and stuff. I love burlap. And I made tons of flowers, different color. I used um, this Dollar Tree. This came from the Dollar Tree. It's burlap ribbon. And it comes in all kinds of colors. Um, it's even seasonal colors, like reds and greens. And then... Halloween, you'll find blacks and orange and stuff like that. Easy to work with. It's got a uh, wire, so easy to bend. Nothing to it. Just cut out your shapes that you want. And I like to, like I said, I 
cut out the shape I want. I cover it with Mod Podge. I sit it on a, um, a parchment paper. Let it sit overnight. And it's nice and stiff, easy to use. I glue the pieces together, just little scraps. I stick a button in the middle. I make uh, little uh, bows or whatever out of the twine. Stick a button in the middle. Yep, that was my phone. And I put a piece of paper, basically just a circle around its uh, uh, cardstock. It gives me an idea of where the center where to start glue and everything. But that's how easy these are. They're just scraps, leftovers. And of course you can always go with um, the everyday glue this to that. And you can slide your picture right up in there. Stick these any way you want. A little butterfly that I made. Stick that on there. On the edges. I, like I said, I can get you started. I can give you the idea. But it is totally up to you. These little wadded up paper flowers. The leftover uh, scrapbook paper. Cut them into leaves. Um, you can even use uh, artificial flowers, take them apart, lay them down, stick a button in the middle, you know, that's all there is to it. There is no limit except your own imagination. So enjoy. Go to town. Sit down with your piece of wood, sand it down smooth, paint it up the color you want, and then gather up your scraps. Uh, let your kid gather up your scrap, give the piece of wood to your kid, let him go to town. But you're going to come up with some of the cutest stuff. And how, you know, this is actually very nice um, gift looks great sitting on your own mantle or, or side tables. You could, um, if you've got great handwriting, which I do not, uh, personalize it. Great a wedding gift or anniversary, Mother's Day, Father's Day. You can do anything you want. So that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I sparked that little bit of imagination and inspiration in you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. So I will see you later. Have a good one.